Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the Marilyn series of log x multiply quotation x. Since log x cannot be expanded, thus I'm going to expand only quotation x. In order to avoid keep obtaining infinity when we substitute x is equal to 0, instead of using the term quotation x, I'm going to use the alternative form that is cos x divided by sin x. And we can let fx be the denominator that is sin x and gx be the numerator, that is cos x. If fx is equal to sin x, which means that at point x is equal to 0, we have 0. Let's differentiate sin x with respect to x, and we should obtain positive cos x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 1. Differentiate cos x with respect to x, we should obtain negative sin x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. Let's continue to differentiate with respect to x for the third time. Differentiate negative sine x is negative cos x. At point x is equal to 0, we have negative 1. If we differentiate further with respect to x, differentiate negative cos x is positive sine x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. And the functions is going to be repeated when we continue to differentiate further. Instead of differentiating further, we can now generalize the antiretive of the function f at point x is equal to 0. As we notice, we will obtain non-zero term for only odd derivative. So we should have 2n plus 1. At point x is equal to 0, value is alternatively positive, negative, positive, and so on. So we have negative 1 to the power of n, where n starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. We can make a simple check. When n is equal to 0, 2 times 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. One. At point x equal to 0, we have negative 1 to the power of 0, which is equal to positive 1. That's correct. And now let's move to n equal to 1. When n is equal to 1, we have 2 times 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. At point x is equal to 0, we have negative 1 to the power of 1, which is equal to negative 1. That's correct. Therefore, the generalized form is correct. Let's form the Marilyn series for the function f, that is sine x. To make it simple, we can first write the denominator and the powers since we need only all derivative so we should start from 1 factorial to the power of 1 followed by 3 factorial x to the power of 3 followed by 5 factorial x to the power of 5 followed by 7 factorial x to the power of 7 followed by 9 factorial x to the power of 9 and I'm going to list only the first 5 not 0 terms and for the numerator is with the value of 1 with plus minus sign alternatively positive negative positive negative positive and and so on. Let's evaluate. So we should have x minus 1 over 6 x cubed plus 1 over 120 x to the power of 5 minus 1 over 5040 x to the power of 7 plus 1 over 362,880 x to the power of 9 and so on. Now let's expand the function g that is cos x. From here we should be able to notice that the n derivative of the function g is is actually the shift of the n derivative of the function x where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on which means that if you have non-zero terms only for odd n derivatives of the function f since g is the shift of f which means that this time we should consider only the even derivative therefore for the even derivative of the function g at point s equal to 0 the plus minus sign should be alternatively positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. So we should have m starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Let's expand the function g, that is cos x. Again, for simplicity, right, start with the denominators and the powers. We should start from 0, so we have 0 factorial x to the power of 0, and the next number, 2 factorial x to the power of 2, since so must be even number. And next, we have 4 factorial x to the power of 4, followed by 6 factorial x to the power of 6, followed by 8 factorial x to the power of 8. Again, first find non-zero terms, and now proceed to the numerator. 
with value 1 and the sign should be alternatively positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and so on. Let's evaluate. So we should have 1 minus 1 over 2 x squared plus 1 over 24 x to the power 4 minus 1 over 720 x to the power 6 plus 1 over 40,320 x to the power 8 and so on. Since we have obtained the Marilyn series for cos x and sin x and cotangent x, let's simply cos x divided by sin x. To obtain the Marilyn series of the cotangent x, we can apply the long division. The rule of thumb of applying long division is always reduce the first term to zero. In order to have zero, we must take the value minus itself, so which means that we should have 1 here. In order to have 1, we should have 1 over x, since 1 over x times x is equal to 1. And when we minus, we should obtain 0. Let's multiply the rest of the term. 1 over x multiply negative 1 over 6x cubed, we obtain negative 1 over 6x squared. Next, we have positive 1 over 120x to the power 4 minus 1 over 5040x to the power 6 plus 1 over 362,880 x to the power 8. Let's simplify. We should have negative 1 over 2 x squared minus minus become plus 1 over 6 x squared, which is negative 1 over 3 x squared. Then we have positive 1 over 30 x power 4 minus 1 over 840 x above 6. And lastly, we have positive 1 over 45,360 x to the power 8. Let's continue again. We should reduce the first term to 0. In order to have 0, we should minus exactly the same value, so we have negative 1 over 3x squared, which means that the next term should be negative 1 over 3x, since negative 1 over 3x times x is equal to negative 1 over 3x squared. Let's multiply the rest of the terms. Simplify, we obtain negative 1 over 45x to the power 4 plus 1 over 630x to the power 6 minus 1 over 22680x to the power 8. Let's complete this long division. Once we completed the long division, we should now have the Marilyn series of cotangent x, which is approximately equal to 1 over x minus 1 over 3x minus 1 over 45x to about 3 minus 2 over 945x to about 5 minus 1 over 4725x to about 7. Therefore, the Marilyn series of log x multiplied cotangent x is approximately equal to log x multiplied 1 over x minus 1 over 3 x minus 1 over 45 x cubed minus 2 over 945 x about 5 minus 1 over 4725 x about 7 and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope like this see you